ఏపీ ఆర్జేసి టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ బిట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫిజిక్స్ పార్ట్ ఫైనల్ టచ్ ద టెంపరేచర్ ఆఫ్ ఏ బాడీ ఈస్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ప్రపోర్షనల్ టు టాస్ సో టెంపరేచర్ ఆఫ్ ఏ బాడీ ఈస్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ప్రపోర్షనల్ టు యావరేజ్ కైనాటిక్ ఎనర్జీ వెన్ కైనటిక్ ఎనర్జీ ఆఫ్ ద సబ్స్టెన్స్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ టెంపరేచర్ ఆల్సో ఇంక్రీజెస్ టెంపరేచర్ డిక్రీజెస్ యావరేజ్ కైనటిక్ ఎనర్జీ ఆల్సో డిక్రీజెస్ A person is not a feeling hot or cold with surroundings, then he is said to be in the state of thermal equilibrium. But you know when the bodies are in thermal equilibrium, so there is no transfer of heat from one body to another body because all the bodies have same temperature. That is why when we are in thermal equilibrium with the surroundings, so our body does not lose heat energy does not gain heat energy so we feel no hot no cold next to question number 3 students the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water to 1 degree celsius in joules generally it is equal to 1 calorie so from the definition of this one it is equal to 1 calorie 1 calorie equal to how many joules 4.186 joules this is which of the following has a least specific heat mercury has a least specific heat cgs unit of heat from the following cgs unit of heat is calorie si unit of heat is a joule one calorie is equals to 4.186 joules or 4.2 joules Question number 6th students, the liquid expands during its change of state from liquid state to solid state. That is a freezing topic student, but you know when water freezes to ice its volume increases. That is why, so ice has a lower density so than water, so ice floats in water. Next to question number 7 students, this model is a Uh, is the most important you can expect one question from this model in APRJC 2022 x grams of water is heated from y degree celsius to z degree celsius then quantity of heat required in calories so so what is you know here mass m is x grams and delta t is higher temperature minus lower temperature higher temperature is z lower temperature is y because y to z temperature increases from y to z so now what is heat we want to calculate so you know q is equals to ms ms and delta t q is equals to ms delta t so here s value water means s value is a one specific heat of water is 1 calorie per gram degree celsius student specific heat of water s is equals to 1 calorie per gram degree celsius so m means x delta t means change in temperature that is z minus y so this is the answer s means s means 1 m means x delta t means z minus y higher temperature minus lower temperature so x into z minus y this is the answer students this is the answer most important next to question number 8 the boiling point of water may be at at this place by the hyderabad uti mumbai and chennai but you know boiling point of water is directly proportional to pressure when pressure increases boiling point of water increases pressure decreases boiling point of water decreases with height from the sea level so height increases from the sea level pressure atmospheric pressure decreases that is why pressure decreases boiling point of water also decreases that is why water might be less so boiling point of water might be less at this place this is a ot because it is a higher place there boiling point is a lower because pressure is a lower pressure decreases boiling point of water also decreases next to during the phase change of substance students that may be solid to liquid or liquid to gas 
ड्यूरिंग द फेज चेंज ऑफ ए सब्सटेंस सॉलिड स्टेट टू लिक्विड स्टेट और लिक्विड स्टेट टू गैसियस स्टेट सो वाट हैपन्स टू टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर रिमाइंस कॉन्स्टेंट वाइल बॉइलिंग और वाइल मेल्टिंग सो वी मे स्टडी वाइल बॉइलिंग वाइल मेल्टिंग द टेम्परेचर रिमाइंस कॉन्स्टेंट दट इज हियर इन डायरेक्टली आस्क स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट द हीट एनर्जी रिक्वाइर्ड बै ट्वेंटी के सी मास आफ वाटर टू रईज द टेमपरेचर फ्रम ट्वेंटी फाइव टू ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेलसीयस मास इज अ गिवन स्टूडेंट मास इज अ गिवन ट्वेंटी के सी दट ईज ट्वेंटी इंटू थौज ग्राम अंड डेलटा टी स्टूडेंट हय्यर टेमपरेचर मैनस् लोवर टेमपरेचर हय्यर टेमपरेचर ईज सेवेंटी फै लोअर टेम्परेचर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव दट इज फिफ्टी डिग्री सेलसीयस अंड यू नो स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ वाटर इज वन क्यालरी पर ग्राम डिग्री सेलसीयस नौ वाट ईज हीट क्यू इज क्वेश्चन मार्क क्यू इज अ गिवन बै द फार्मला एम एस डेलटा टी वेर एम इज सो यू कैन रईट दिस इज ट्वेंटी इंटू थौज मीन टू इंटू टेन पवर फोर अंड दिस इज अ फिफ्टी डिग्री सेलसीयस अंड एस वैल्यू इज अ वन so 50 into 200 so 100 into 10 power 4 so 100 can 100 can be written as 10 square and 10 power 4 that is 10 power 6 so this is option students 10 power 6 calories heat energy so using a formula ms delta t next to 11th question students क्वेश्चन नंबर लेवन ए कर्वड सर्फेस ऑफ रेडियस कैपिटल आर इज सपरेटिंग टू मीडिया रिफ्राक्टिव इंडेक्स एन वन एन टू इफ यू अंड वी आर आब्जेक्ट अंड इमेज डिस्टेंस देन दफ रिलेशन एन टू बै वि मैनस एन वन बै यू बी सी गोस टू एन टू मैनस एन वन बै आर् दिस इज अ फार्मला सो रिलेशन अमांग एन टू एन वन वि यू अंड आर इज गिवेन एज दिस इज अ फार्मला नैक्स्ट A lemon kept in a glass of water appears to be bigger than its actual size because of refraction of light. Next, a lens thinner at the middle, thicker at the edges. It is a biconcave lens, thinner at the middle, thinner at the middle, thicker at the edges. Next. The lens thicker at the middle and thinner at the edges. It is a biconvex lens. It is its a symbol. So this is the answer. The lens which can form both the real image and virtual image is biconvex lens. But oh, convex lens can form always virtual image. But biconvex lens can form both the real image and virtual image. Biconvex lens. The lens which can form real and virtual images is biconvex. Biconvex lens always forms a biconcave lens always forms a virtual image, students. But here you can see remaining options: real images, virtual inverted images, real and real erected images. So all these options are not. This is only virtual images. So biconcave lens always forms a virtual image. Question number seventeen, students. So every lens has a two focal points, students. So distance between distance between two uh, focal points of a thin lens having a focal length is two f. Next to lens makers formula, students, you know lens makers formula one by f is equal to n minus one half one by r one minus one by r two. Lens formula, students, one by f is equal to v minus uh, one by v minus one by u. This is right. It is also right. It is also right. That is why so option is all. Option is all students. Next, refractive index of medium is two. Then critical angle of the medium. You know, refractive index n is two given critical angle. So critical angle under refractive index relation sine c equal to one by n. Then c equal to sine inverse of one by n. Sine inverse of one by two equal to thirty degrees. Students, thirty degrees. This is option. Speed of light in vacuum three into ten power eight meter per second. It is uh, also written as three into ten power five kilometer per second. So both are right. Next, refractive index of the refractive uh, which of the following is a not caused by total internal 
reflection so mirrors you know mirrors works on the principle of total internal reflection shining of diamond works on the principle of total internal reflection optical fibers are working on the principle of total internal reflection but thermometer does not work on the principle of total internal reflection this is answer students next the angle of deviation produced by glass slab is 0 degrees 26th bit refractive index of medium is 3 by 2 then speed of light in the medium is 2 into 10 power 8 meter per second problem students it is using the formula so v equal to c by n c value is 3 into 10 power 8 n value is a given so then on cancellation it will be 2 into 10 power 8 meters per second next 27 which of the following has no units which of the following has which of the following has no units send the answer students send the answer in the comments for the 27 28 students diamond has refractive index 2.42 then critical angle is 24.4 degrees next which of the following is a snell's law so sin i by sin r is n2 by n1 sin r by sin i is n1 by n2 n1 sin i equal to n2 sin r and fourth one is all the above send the answer for 29th also in comments students the value of least resistance of distinct vision for young adult human being it is 25 cm next the value of least resistance of distinct vision for young children having age below 10 years for young children having age below 10 years means 7 cm to 8 cm students which part of the human eye is called variable aperture lens variable aperture is lens which of the following has a rods and cones you know Redina has rods and cones, students. Redina has rods and cones. So again, cones can identify color of the light. Rods can identify intensity of the light. Rods of rods functioning is functioning of rods is to identify in intensity of light. Cones is to ident cones function is to identify the color of the light. So Redina has these two. Question number thirty-four. Students, near point distance is fifty centimeter. Then power of lens. Near point distance is denoted by d. Is a fifty centimeter. Students, we want to find power of lens. Power of lens calculate to calculate power of lens. First, we want to calculate focal length. Focal length is given by the formula twenty-five d by d minus twenty-five. D value is fifty. That is twenty-five into fifty by D minus twenty five, fifty minus twenty five. So this is the efficiency goes to twenty five into fifty by fifty minus twenty five means this is cancellation fifty centi. So focal length is a given fifty centimeter. Then we want to find power. Power is equals to hundred by f. That is hundred by fifty. So that is two diopter plus two d students plus two diopter answer. Plus two diopters. Next, focal length of a lens is minus two d. Then, our uh, focal length we want to calculate. Focal length, students. So focal length, focal length equal to hundred by p. And do here, power is given minus two diopters. So, which is minus fifty centimeter. This is answer. Minus fifty centimeters, friends. So focal length is given by the formula hundred by p, but focal length is a given uh, power is a given minus two diopters, so hundred by minus two fifty centimeter. Next to light is light light waves are which waves? Longitudinal waves, stationary waves, or none are electromagnetic waves. So electromagnetic light waves are electromagnetic waves. students the electric current so in this final touch video electric current questions in most important electric questions are not prepared already so we uploaded in a video for polyset and aprjc and the link of that video is given in the description so you can see you can watch and listen very very important electric current bits electric current chapter bits are most important so already uploaded that chapter so you can watch that video and you can note the questions from that video 
the description the link of that video is a given in the description students most important and then tomorrow in a tomorrow we should upload chemistry most important as a final touch topic all the best